Today we're going to take a look at the Thrunite TC20 Pro with XHP70 High. That means it's a domeless XHP70 emitter. It's one of my favorite emitters on the market. Welcome back to Shulites. We got the TC20 Pro. This is a really compact yet deep reflector kind of floody, throwy light. This is the kind of light I really like, and we're gonna be comparing it today against a couple XHP70 lights. We got the Ace Beam E70 here, which I swapped the Cool White XHP70 out for an XHP70 HI, so that's the uh, same one is in here, but this one is 4500K, and this one's Cool White. And then we've got the Cyan Sky, P25 here, and this has got an XHP70, but this time it is the domed emitter. You can see there's a dome on the emitter there. So that's a little different than what we got in these other two lights. So let's take a look at what's in the box. All right, the through night boxes are always pretty nice. They're uh, kind of a solid cardboard. They slip off like this. They got the foam inside. This the rubber band is on the outside to prevent this from coming off when you get it. And on the inside, you've got the light would rest right there like that. Pull the foam out. You got yourself a manual kind of pamphlet, which is in English and a couple other languages. Then you also have a baggie of a lanyard a little ring to attach the lanyard, as well as, and I, I wondered what this was for a long time, and I think I've actually figured it out. This little white, little clear kind of disc seems to be the piece underneath the switch here. So if that starts to wear out on you, I think that's where it goes, right under there. There's a couple new O-rings, and it comes with a USB-A to C charging cable and a holster. Let's take a look at the ergonomics fit and finish. It's got the really nice anodization that you would expect from through night. Kind of a satin finish here. I wouldn't say high gloss, but it's definitely not matte. And it's got a all metal button with a light in the middle there. You can see there's a little light right there. See the little blue turn on. The tail cap here is a faux tail cap. Nope, that's wrong. It is a real tail cap. I don't know why I said it was faux, but uh, you can pull it off like that, and there is a double gold-plated spring right there. It comes with a through night 26650 battery. That's 5,000 milliamp hours. And I guess the reason I thought the tail cap didn't come off was because I had already taken it apart before, and I took it apart from right here the tube at the head like that. That's the way I did it. And you can see the driver there on the inside. Let's get a really good sharp shot of that. Well, at least the side of the driver that we can see. You can see an O-ring and you can see that the threads are nice and lubricated. Let's go ahead and thread that back in. All right. And on the front here is a bezel. I have taken apart through night lights before and they don't have any Loctite. So if you get yourself, a, I like to get a strap wrench on the outside here and then you can just break that free. I don't like to go for, you could use snap ring pliers on the inside, but sometimes you'll slip and mar up the aluminum. So you got a nice smooth reflector. You can see a smooth reflector there, which gives a nice throwy beam, especially with the high emitter, the HI emitter being domeless. And that's, Let's let's now move into, let's move out of ergonomics and move into why I think this is a great light. So I think it's great because of the fact that I already like the output of the XHP70. I think it's just a phenomenally high output emitter. And all three of these have a variant of the same emitter. But the size difference here, and we're going to do a little size comparison here, you can see that the TC20 Pro has a much larger diameter and a deeper reflector than its counterparts. And so what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a more concentrated beam with the TC20 Pro. So when we go outside and look at the beam shots, look for that. This tends to be, the E70 from Ace Beam, tends to be a really floody light. But notice that if you ignore the girth for a moment here, uh, it's actually kind of a smaller light in many ways. So it has a little more runtime, it's 5,000 
milliamp hours as opposed to the 4,000, 4,200 you get over here on the 21700. But uh, I would say that they're not that different size-wise. I mean, yes, this is thinner, so it's going to fit your pocket better. But I think that this could fit in a jacket pocket, no problem. Feels really great in my hand. But uh, if you know, if I gotta shove this in a jeans pocket, I probably could. Uh, but you know, that bigger reflector, you're gonna see outside. You're gonna see what a difference it makes. Let's talk about charging because we already talked about the battery. The included battery is a 5,000 milliamp hour 26650. It's a standard battery. You can use any 26650 you have, and I pulled it out and charged it on my SkyRC charger, but on the back here, you got a flappy doodle, and if you get your fingy under there and rotate it out of the way, so that's a flappy doodle done right. The fact that you can rotate it, I always hate when they just like stick in the way there. But you can see that we got an, a USB-C port right there, and when you plug into it, the light on the other side goes red to indicate charging and turns blue once it's done. Throughnight has a really easy to use UI. So it's got shortcuts to moonlight. So if the light is off and you press and hold, you'll see that a moonlight has come on. I don't know if you can see that on my hand. Hopefully you can. Turn it this way, you can see that the emitter is on. If I turn it off, you can see the difference. So I'll press and hold. And that moonlight, we're gonna measure on the lumen tube next, see how low it really is. Now, if you tap the light once, not press and hold, it'll turn on into the low, medium, high cycle that it does. So when it's on, just tap and it turns off. And when it's on, press and hold and you cycle through low, medium, high. So low, medium, high, low, medium, high. Now there's one extra mode besides high and that's turbo. And to get to turbo, you double click. So if it's on, two clicks and we go straight to turbo. Let me see if that works from off. So we're off right now, double click and straight to turbo. So that's awesome that it works in both cases. There's also a strobe on a four click. So if it's on and I go one, two, three, four, we go into a tactical strobe. I actually like that the strobe is on a four click and not a three click, makes it a little harder to get into. And I, for one, don't use strobe a lot and it kind of annoys me when I accidentally activate it. This light, the way you would lock it out is mechanically. So if the light is on, just eighth of a turn, light is now off, re-engage, light is back on. This light features a indicator right here for battery state of charge. When I click, you'll see there's a faint blue light right there. Now the blue light stays on for a majority of the time that you're using the light, meaning that from 100% state of charge all the way down to 20%, it's gonna be blue. And then once it drops below 20, you get red, then you get a flashing red. And by the time the light is off, that means the low voltage production has cut in at 2.8 volts to protect your lithium ion cell from damage. We got some output times in the manual. They say that the moonlight, which is about half a lumen, should last over two months. The low, which is 30 lumens, should last almost 70 hours. And then the medium, which is you know around 300 lumens, will be basically all of night, right? One night. And here at high, you get about two hours on high. That is really admirable. That's awesome. Now the turbo is gonna, they say it's gonna jump up to 3,200 lumens for about 200 seconds. Then it's going to throttle down to the high mode for the next two hours. Let's take a look on the lumen tube and see what I measure. Okay, here we're at the lumen tube. I'm gonna turn down my video lights so that we don't get a lot of bleed into the tube here. And then I'm going to put the flashlight in the hole there. So now there we go, we're at zero. Let me press and hold. And I'm reading about 0.8 lumens. So take that with a grain of salt, but it's definitely under lumens, that's awesome. Now let me press and hold to go to low. I'm getting 41 lumens. I am now getting 340 lumens. Now at high, I'm getting about 1900 lumens. Now let's double click to turbo in a moment here. Just gonna let the light rest for a second. All right, I've turned the video lights back up. Now let's do our turbo runtime test. So uh, this is a factor of 10 here and let's double click now. 
All right, so we hit about 3,400 lumens at zero seconds, and we are about 10 seconds in. It's holding quite well. Still 3,300 lumens. And we just hit the 20 second mark. We're in the final 10 seconds now. Great sustain on this light. There you go. 3,260 lumens. That is a winner in my book. Let's take a look at the tint. I don't expect much, considering the fact that it's a cool white emitter designed for output. Okay. All right, turn down the lights again. Let's get a reading on the Sekonic. And on high, we are getting 6,600 and a little bit, a little bit on the green side. But remember that when you're this cool, this is not looking kind of green. It's looking more kind of purplish, bluish, really. So it's not objectionable at all. And it's not really an issue for a light that is just putting out massive lumens like this. Okay, we're outside to do some beam shots. And I want to tilt down first here. And I want to show you the beam differences between the E70 especially and the through night. So here is the E70. Let me go ahead and get some focus on that. The E70 has a smaller reflector. It does have an XHP 70 high emitter, but you'll see when I turn it on here that, let me go to a reasonable mode here. There we go. You can see that it's pretty floody. Okay. Now let's take the through night on the right here and add it to the mix. And you can see, let me go down, there we go. You can see how much more concentrated it is because of that reflector. So you can see that it's a small hot spot with some spill versus kind of a large floody hot spot on the E70. So let's go ahead and tilt up here. I'm gonna start out with the two competitors. I'm gonna start out with the Cyan Sky and the Ace Beam just to get a baseline. Okay, so this is a cyan sky on that tree right there, which is 20 meters. The second tree, this one right here, is 55 meters. And I don't think we're making the end of the street. It's just too floody. All right, now let's take a look at the E70. We'll go straight to turbo. Uh, it's even floodier. Look at that. Now, remember, this was swapped out for a 4500. So it's gonna have a less lumens than a cool white emitter would have. You can see that it's making that tree right there at 55 meters and definitely this tree at 20 meters right here. And you can see that it's going between both these trees. So it's a floody, floody beam. Now let's take a look at the through night and you can see how much more candela there is here. You can see we're making it all the way to the end of the street, just obliterates these closer trees. And all the way to the end there, we're making it at 150 meters. So that's the difference a really large, smooth reflector like this is gonna make with the same emitter. The Through Night TC20 Pro is a really good all-arounder light. The kind of light that, you know, it goes low enough with its moonlight mode to walk around the house, but also great for investigating things that go bump in the night because it's got the runtime with the large battery the efficient driver that we saw didn't really step down when we were doing our runtime test and this thing just throws because of this reflector this reflector is just nice and smooth and deep and focused and so it really puts them out there where we need them as we saw on the beam shots so a light like this the uh, e70 might be on the large side for EDC, but I think this is a better EDC light because it's more for close up and it's more floody. But if I'm walking around at night, this is the light I'm gonna grab every time, the Through Night TC20 Pro. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.